we have learned about distance and displacement now moving ahead speed versus velocity yes daily we say that so and so car is moving faster than the other car and this bus is slower than the truck i can say so and so friend i am faster than so and so friend so how could you measure quantitatively see i'm playing i'm using the word quantity quantitative means numbers how do you measure quantitatively that one body is faster than the other then physics helps you here with the physical quantity speed and velocity so what is speed speed which is represented by the symbol v and defined as the ratio of distance and time that means distance divided by time distance is represented by the symbol s yes, time is represented by the symbol t so therefore the formula becomes v equal to s by t there are many definitions for the speed but should have clarity any definition you can take simply you can say speed is a distance by time or you can say speed is a ratio of distance and time or you can say rate of change of distance rate of change of distance so any definition you can use so the formula is v equal to distance by time yes by t now coming to this formula what is what are the units if you see the units we have cgs and we have si centimeter gram second si it, so of course it is also called mks system now what is cgs unit of speed yes distance unit is centimeter time it is second so centimeter per second is the unit of speed in cgs system in si system it is meter per second sometimes we write like this don't be confused meter second in words as a second is a denominator when it goes to numerator it becomes s power minus 1 so meter per second that's a speed unit v equal to s by t now coming to velocity it is also represented by the symbol v please pay attention here at the speed is symbol is v velocity symbol is also v it is differed by the definition not by the symbol symbols are same when we have speed why should we go for velocity because speed is a scalar quantity it's a scalar means it has only magnitude no direction but in real life it is very very important to know the direction if the car is coming towards you when car is coming towards you in straight line path exactly opposite to you a bike is coming from left hand of of yours then if the car hits the bike then which direction the bike goes or if the if the bike hits the car in which direction it goes we should know then only we can avoid the accidents and we can either the car or the bike can stop immediately to stop the accident so directions are very important when you are in the ship the ship is sailing on the water on the sea water and you are in middle of the sea water and if you are seeing around you don't know with which direction you are in until unless you have the compass the compass only tells you that you are towards you, you are you in towards north or towards south directions are very important same thing happen for airplanes also when the airplanes are flying in, in the sky and if you see around you can see nothing except the clouds in the daytime in night time you can't see anything so how the pilot knows that which direction he is going and how he has to reach to hyderabad from vizag is only possible by the compass a compass gives the north and south directions so directions are very important so even though we have speed as a scalar quantity we need to have a vector and this velocity is a vector quantity 
So velocity definition is it is the ratio of displacement to time. Displacement divided by time. Displacement divided by time. Displacement is S symbol again. Time is T again. So the formula wise both are looking same. V equal to S by T, V equal to S by T. When both are looking same, their units also same. Velocity unit CGS is centimeters per second. Velocity SI unit is also meters per second. But only difference is velocity is a vector quantity. It has magnitude as well as direction. So how do we differentiate both of them? We can know by solving the numericals. Yes. Now, you see this example, the previous example, where we have found distance and displacement. This time, the same example we take and we try to calculate speed and velocity. The body is in the circular path of radius 2 meters. It starts at point A and moving the circular path. Where it covers half circle A to B, I want what is the speed, speed from A to B. From, from A to B. Of course, I want velocity also. So, to find the speed from A to B, as the definition says, distance by time. So, V equal to what is the distance traveled? In the previous example, we discussed the distance is 2 pi r divided by 2, half circle. So, pi r. So, pi r means pi is 3.14, r is 2 meters, 3.14 into 2. 3.142. This is the distance traveled divided by time. The time taken is 1 minute. If you write 1 minute, wait. You are doing mistake. Always we need to tell the answers in terms of CGS or SI. And when you are taking time, it should be converted into seconds. But the time is in minutes. So convert it to seconds. 1 minute equal to how many seconds? 60 seconds. So therefore, the answer is 6.28 divided by 60. Now, by solving this, what is the answer you are getting? 6.28 by divided by 60. You solve it. I am not solving. This is meters per second. That is the speed. Now, velocity. The same problem, velocity from A to B. Velocity V equals to displacement by time. A to B, the displacement shortest distance, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 divided by time, 1 minute, which is 60 seconds. So, 4 by 60 minutes per second. Solve it and find the answer. This is how you can find the speed and velocity. I hope you solved the ratio and these are the answers. Speed 0 0.105 minutes per second and velocity 0.07 bits per second. Okay, let us move on to the next concept called instantaneous velocity. What is instantaneous velocity? Instant, instant means at, at that moment. If I say, I have done this work at 4 seconds, I have done this work in 4 seconds. See the difference. I have done this work at fourth second I have done this work in four seconds so when I say I have done the work at fourth second it is instantaneous at that moment I have done the work in four seconds cover time total time so instantaneous means at that moment so instantaneous velocity means the velocity you are telling or you are seeing at that moment when you are in the bus or when you are in a car the odometer, the speedometer, when you observe and the pointer shows at 10, coincides at 10, then if you say, yeah, it is 10 kmph, kilometer per hour, that means there is a speed of the car at that moment. But it is not the speed of the, speed of the car, the whole, the whole of its motion, whole of its course of motion. No, it is at that moment only. Suppose you are driving, you, you, are, you are in the car, the car moves at the speed of 70 kmph. And driver says that, yes, sir, I am going. I'm, uh, started from uh, uh, the point called uh, Sikindrabad 
and have reached to high tech city with the speed of 70 kmph then he is not saying the instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity he is saying the average speed or average velocity instantaneous is at that moment so that's how you need to differentiate instantaneous velocity and average velocity the order meters what are the speeds you are seeing at that moment are only instantaneous okay now coming to this average speed and average velocity how do we measure in real life we don't tell or we uh, we can we cannot tell the exact speed or exact velocity we can tell only average speeds and average velocities theoretically we say speed velocity but practically we are telling average speeds average velocity because when you start from uh, Sikandarabad and going to high tech city you know the the traffic and you know how many turnings you need to take in that situation the car will, will take many number of turnings and the driver apply the brakes driver accelerates the car so the speed changes regularly or the velocity changes regularly so you need to take all these velocities all the speeds in consideration so to, to get an average speed or average velocity so the speeds the car what you are seeing on them what they say what you tell are only average speeds once the motion is completed so how do we measure yes of course physics gives for reason everything formulas average speed and average velocity are also having formulae let me tell you average speed the symbol what I am using here V average is just a symbolic representation you can use any symbol you want I have used AVG short form of short form of average subscript of V V average so average speed definition is it is a ratio of total distance to total time or simply you can say total distance divided by total time right okay let me draw a diagram for you so there's a point a point b and point c a to b the distance is s1 b to c the distance is s2 the time taken is t1 time taken is t2 and of course it's a none other than a car so a to b the distance travel s1 b to c distance travel s2 times are t1 t2 now see the formula carefully by the definition itself we can write the formula so v average equals to symbolical writing of total distance s1 plus s2 divided by total time t1 plus t2 that is average speed and what is the unit of average speed the unit what i have told you what i have taught you in speed the same unit which is centimeters per second or meters per second average velocity average velocity the definition is v average equals to displacement divided by total time that means you can say it's a ratio of displacement to total time or simply displacement divided by total time okay so take the same example here the car moving from a to b b to c s1 is the distance s2 is the distance as the car moving the straight line path the distance displacements both are same so s1 plus s2 is not only total distance here displacement also because same direction but let me do a small modification see here Now see carefully, see the diagram. A car is moving from A to B, B to C and C to B. C to B. C to B, the time taken is T3, say T3. Average velocity is displacement, shortest distance. So A to B, B to C, C to B. So what is the shortest distance we land earlier? Yes, it is correct. It is only S1. It is S1 divided by but remember total time don't say only t1 total time need to take so that is t1 plus t2 plus t3 so this is what average 
velocity. It has both magnitude and direction. And its unit is again centimeters per second and meters per second. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.